Hello and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's art lesson, we're taking a look at the work of an artist called Henry Rousseau. Our walls for today is to look at and respond to the work of Rousseau. We've been learning a lot about the rainforest in the last few weeks. And whilst the rainforest sounds like an amazing place to go exploring, I'm not sure that I would be cut out for all of the creepy crawlies, things trying to kill me, and general sticky, hot nature of rainforests. So people like me need another way of experiencing the rainforest. Today, we're going to do just that. We're going to take a look at the rainforest through the eyes of an artist. That artist is Henry Rousseau, seen here in cat version and non-cat version. For the purposes of this video, he's going to be a cat. Like many artists, Rousseau has an interesting backstory. He was born in France in the year 1844, and he came from a very poor family. He lived a very ordinary and boring life. He worked as a city tax collector, which meant it was his job to go door to door, making sure that everybody was paying the correct taxes to the city. Not the most exciting job in the world. But behind this boring and plain life was a secret passion that Rousseau had. In his spare time, he liked to paint. And he really wanted to be an artist more than anything in the world. Problem was, art school was expensive and he couldn't afford to go and work for famous artists who were working in France at the time. So he just continued with his normal, boring life and his ordinary, boring job. Until one day, at the age of 49, he decided enough was enough. He left his job as a tax collector and began to paint full time. He had absolutely no training. Rousseau taught himself everything he knew by just exploring and experimenting with paint. Over time, he started to develop his own style of painting that was quite different to the other painters of the time. He really wanted to be a famous artist, but... When he showed his work to the other famous artists of the time, they made fun of him. They thought that his art was like something a child would paint. Rousseau was devastated, and he thought about giving it all up, until one very famous artist called Pablo Picasso saw his work, and he thought it was amazing. Slowly, Rousseau started to get more and more famous, and those other artists slowly started to see that this childish style was actually quite interesting and unique. Rousseau experimented with painting all different things, from self-portraits to pictures of other people. But there was one thing that Rousseau loved painting and drawing more than anything in the world. And that was rainforests. There was only one problem. Rousseau had never left France. He'd never seen a rainforest, never set foot in one. So how on earth did he paint pictures of rainforests? Remember, Rousseau was living in a time where there was no TV, no Google. So how on earth do you think he knew what a rainforest looked like? Pause the video and write down an answer. Well, without internet, Rousseau went to the next best thing. Googling back in the 1800s 
was going to the library and checking out a few books. So poured over books and postcards and anything with details about life in the rainforest. He also spent a lot of time at the botanical gardens in Paris, a special place where exotic plants were being grown. The only problem with this was sometimes his paintings weren't exactly accurate. Remember, he's never been to a rainforest, so he's only imagining what it would look like. There's one painting in particular, this one here, that Rousseau painted, and there's something that shouldn't be there in the painting. Can you pause the video and see if you can find it? Well, did you spot the mistake? Right here in the middle of the painting is a lion. Now, I'm not sure if you know this, but there's no lions in the rainforest. Lions live in the savanna, mainly on the Great Plains of Africa. Maybe Rousseau didn't know that lions didn't live in the rainforest. Or maybe he just thought it would look nice. I don't know. What do you think? Why do you think he put a lion in this rainforest scene? Pause the video and write down your answer. Let's take a look at a few more of Rousseau's paintings of the rainforest. For each of these paintings, I want you to do three things. One, give the painting a title that you think fits the picture in front of you. Number two, write down one thing you like about the painting. And number three, write down one thing that you don't like so much about the painting. Ready? Okay, let's go. Here is your first painting. When you're ready, pause the video and do those three things. Title, one thing you like, one thing you don't like. One thing you'll learn about Rousseau is that his naming of paintings is not very imaginative. This painting is called Tropical Forests with Monkeys. Not very creative, I know. It was painted in 1910, over a hundred years ago. My favourite thing about this painting is how Rousseau uses so few colours, but still makes the picture so interesting to look at. Look at all those different shades of green. Let's have a look at another painting. Here is your second painting. When you're ready, pause the video, write down a title, one thing you like, and one thing you don't like. This painting is one of Rousseau's most famous. It's called Surprise, and you can see why. I love the expression on the big cat's face. It's really eye-catching and makes you stop and take a closer look. Let's try the third picture. This is your third one. Pause the video when you're ready, write down the title, one thing you like, and one thing you don't like. This painting from 1909 is called Mandrill in the Jungle. A mandrill is a type of primate, a type of monkey. So again, a very uncreative and literal title from our friend Rousseau. I love the blue and red on the face of the mandrill though. It is really colourful compared to all of the green and brown around it. Let's take a look at one last Rousseau painting. Have a look at this one. And again, there is one thing in this picture that shouldn't be there. Can you find it? When you're ready, pause the video, write down the title, one thing you like, one thing you don't like, and see if you can find that one thing that's out of place. Pause the video when you're ready. Well, from the title of this painting, you'll straight away know what's wrong. This is called The Hungry Lion Throws Itself on the Antelope. And again, there really shouldn't be a lion in the rainforest. They don't live there. The interesting thing about art is, it doesn't really matter. This isn't a photograph. It's not going to be in a fact book. Instead, this is what Rousseau pictures the rainforest to be like. And you can see from the scene that he has painted in the front, 
It's a violent and dangerous place. So out of all of those Rousseau paintings, which one is your favourite? If you could have one of them stuck on your bedroom wall, which one would it be? And which one would you not want to be on your bedroom wall? Pause the video and write down your answers. So what do you think? Are you in Team Pablo Picasso saying, yes, Rousseau's paintings are fantastic? Or are you with those other artists who laughed at Rousseau and said his paintings were far too basic and childish? The thing is, it doesn't really matter what you think. That's the whole point of art. It made you think. Even if you don't like these paintings at all, and they're not something you would want to hang on your wall, still made you stop and think about that. All Henry Rousseau wanted in life was to be able to paint and to someday be famous for doing it. And with one of his paintings selling in 2018 for over 2.5 million dollars, I think it's safe to say both those wishes came true. So our wall for today was to look at and respond to the artwork of Rousseau. When you're ready, you can try draw some Rousseau paintings of the rainforest yourself. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.